Hey YouTube, welcome back. Um, today we start a new course to talk about system design fundamentals, but the difference today that um, we're using uh, the quality of the display will be way more better because some of you guys that was talking about the quality of videos was like uh, 70, uh, 720p only and this one will be way more better. So today we we start a new course. We talk about uh, system design fundamentals. Uh, today we talk about uh, the single server uh, um, setup and what is for and why we use it for and and yeah and we talk all about the characteristics uh, the characteristics of it. So so basically um, a single server setup often referred as a, a standalone server or a single node uh, configuration. So basically, let us try to see how, how that works. So we have a client right now. Let's assume that we have a client and we, and this client, maybe it could be like, uh, uh, could be like uh, a web browser. Could be like a web browser or mobile. And this client wanna connect with a server. So in order for the client is connected to the server, they use something we call IP address. We use IP address for communication. So you can think about IP address is that it's the, um, it's the, uh, the identification for each client, for identification for each server, that servers used to identify each other and, and, and talk with each other. But the client, like when you log into the internet, you do not type the IP address of anything. You just type the domain name like youtube.com and gmail.com. So how the single server setup works, basically, let's say that we have this circle and we, we will have a, a DNS. And uh, yeah. We will have a DNS, which is short for domain system. And the DNS uh, purpose is to uh, transform. I guess I need to make everything bigger in order to go for 24. And 24 and also this one Twenty-four. Okay, let's just get it bigger. Okay, this is this will be one more better. So basically what happening here is that the client will send the domain name to the to the DNS, for example, youtube.com Okay, and the, the domain name system will send back the IP address of, of, um, of, of, uh, of the YouTube. But let's assume the IP address will be like uh, 15 15.125.232.214. And when the client when the client receive the IP address from the DNS, we'll try. Let's I guess if we make this like that, it will be better. Yeah, this one will be better. Once the client receive the IP address of the server, it will try to connect with the server with with with, with the HTTP request and request like for uh, like um, request. Um, uh, like an HTML page or something and the server will send back these HTML pages so basically this what happens in conclusion like we have like um, like you try to connect with the IP address like build the HTTP connection and try to connect with the, H um, the IP address and uh, the server will send back the uh, what we call the HTML page, HTML page. So let's just try to do to recap 
this one. So, so the user access the website through domain name system, such as like uh, google.com or youtube.com. Usually the domain name system is like a paid service provided by third parties and, mm, uh, and not hosted by our servers. Um, we use the internet protocol. So internet protocol is uh, like the IP address is returned to the browser or or uh, the mobile app to the client basically um in in in, in this example we have this ip address we written this ip address as example um once the ip address is obtained um we tr we, we 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 establish an uh, http connection we 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 try to make a um, hypertext transform protocol requests or uh, to uh, and send them directly to the server and after that the web server returns html pages or json response for rendering um the the page for example so let's just examine right now the traffic source the, uh, the traffic source to your uh, server comes from two sources we have web application and mobile application let's assume that the client is that the client is is uh, is uh, is is about like web application and mobile application we have the web applications is uses combination of servers site languages like uh, java python to handle businesses logic storage etc and client uh, site languages like html and javascript for uh, for a presentation we have a mobile application and this one we use http protocol is a communication uh, protocol between mobile app and um, mobile app and uh, and web server we uh, uh, JavaScript object notation we 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 use uh, which is a sort for JSON is uh, a commonly used API response format to transform data due to its simplicity and example of the API, uh, uh, of the API I will just try to show you the example of the how the API looks like so basically no automation here let's go so basically let's just try to create this one here and. Uh, so basically the example of the API would try to just like make like a get request and we will have like we now get the users with uh, the ID 12 and this is how the request will look like for example and the response it will be like um like an object be like the ID of the user will be like 12 maybe and maybe the name will be like more and maybe age will be uh, 12 uh, let's make it like 28 and so on so forth so um, this is how the single server set up and it's there's important some characteristics that we need to talk about so um, the, the good thing about this one is the simplicity like managing a single server is uh, relatively simple compared to complex multi-server architecture this simplicity can be uh, advantages for users with uh, limited IT expertise. Also, we have um, um, it's easy to understand. It's easy to understand the system. It's easy to manage, and uh, and and um, and in the future, we we'll try to Im improve the system by adding maybe um, a database or something. Because right now, our server is storing the uh, uh, it's handling two things: it's handling the traffic from the client, and also it, uh, our 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 server is is storing the user's data. So we try in the in the future to introduce a database to help us to manage that. So um, that's it for this video, and I hope you like my content. If you like my content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you'll never miss a video. And see you guys in future problem.